uh, reached my hour mark and we just got over here to Mountain River and I'm not going to actually do anything here on Mountain River unless I see a trailer because I don't I was so used to in my other playthrough buying and selling trailers that I really didn't pay that much attention to what trailers were actually here there's a maintenance trailer and there's a big long trailer here we have to pull but I am on the hunt for uh, trailers and opening up maps and I do know that there is a fuel trailer oh I gotta figure out what I need for this bridge so since I'm over here uh, I just wanted to open up the map because I'm still trying to get our first map taken care of so while I'm here I'll accept that and that one also requires no it doesn't that's my other one I'm doing requires a metal beam but when I come back over here I'll know what I need So I have found two trailers so far. Found a fuel trailer, which I knew was at the port here at North Port. And I did find one red trailer that's at our garage. But I am going to need more trailers. And I would really like to find some of the semi-trailers. At least two of them. And maybe a ramped flatbed. So over here, we were we came up this way, and we're heading out this way. Uh, here is the uh, that is the tunnel to I think it's White Valley, but you cannot go through here. You have to open it from the other side. And then we have this one to Mountain River, and we have one over here to Pedro Bay it's right in here somewhere and I'm pretty sure we're going to pass it so I'll go ahead and when I get to it I will open it up just so that I have the map so that later on I can take a look at the maps take a close look at them and see if I can find trailers so that I know where to go to So we're going to need, and I wish I'd have brought that, went ahead and hooked up that other trailer. The one from the garage, the red one. Uh, because now I need two metal beams. And I'm thinking I can find one over here. But I'm also thinking it might be a flatbed semi-trailer. That leads to the town and it's not a very good road. But it is drivable for the big trucks. You do not want to take a scout down there. Or you will spend forever trying to get through it. Alright, so we have a mission here. I'm going to go ahead and accept it. Accept all the missions you get to. <clears throat> and a trailer store which I can't use because I am doing my own self-imposed hardcore mode ah metal beams excellent ah shoot and with the hardcore mode I have to manually load everything I don't know what I was thinking I know what I was thinking. I was 
in too big of a hurry because I wanted to see what was behind here to see if there was a trailer back here and there is not. So let me look at something real quick. I do have a fuel tanker up here that I know I can get. And I'm thinking there's a factory or something here that may have a trailer. So I'm going to go look there first before I load this up. So for those of you on YouTube, uh, you have seen the hardcore rules that I have to follow. And if you're watching me on Twitch, uh, I will talk about the hardcore rules as I go through this. Or you can just switch over real quick to my YouTube channel and look at the hardcore mode that I'm playing and see all the rules I have to follow. And why did I do this? Uh, because I'm almost finished in my other playthrough with uh, Russia. And I have found that now that I'm three quarters of the way through Russia, the game has just gotten too easy. Uh, it's still fun, don't get me wrong. It's a very fun game, but it has gotten a little bit of the challenge has worn off. So until the developers come out with a hardcore mode of their own, which I'm, uh, I heard that they are working on, I wanted to do something to make this a little more challenging. So that's why I came up with my own hardcore rules. And no trailer here. Oh crap, this might be harder than I thought it was going to be. So I was sure that I had more trailers than this on this map. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I like pulling the blue flatbed trailers. So let's see, I think I, all I can get here is wood. Yep, so that's all I can get is wood here. How far am I from... I'm not that far. Let me look at this factory real quick. I know there's a maintenance trailer around here somewhere. Right there, I think, is the maintenance trailer. And I've already been through that warehouse. And a fuel tanker there, which I can't pull because it's semi-trailer. But I can go up there. And there's an upgrade up here somewhere. And I can fuel up. So I am going to need to fuel the truck at some point. And what I might do, I think I've got enough gas. Let me go ahead and load up this one metal beam take down there fix up the rock slide and then I will come back get fuel get the upgrade pick up the next metal beam and go down there and fix the pipeline where it is blocking the road and then I'll have this road totally open because you have to make a lot of trips up this road
and you will notice I'm playing in the dark because that is one of my hardcore rules I cannot advance time so I have to play it like the game gives it to me now something else I'm going to do here Okay, metal beams is all I can get here. Alright. So I was going to drop off some other cargo so I can look at the map and it'll tell me what I can get at each one of these. But since this is all I can get here, I don't have to worry about it. Okay, pack it up, restore the crane, and let's go fix that roadblock. So there are a lot of missions on this map, or on in Alaska here, but there's none of them that's really overly difficult. There are three, <clears throat> uh, three big trailers that we've got to pull to different locations. But they are not as big as, they're longer than the maintenance, uh, the uh, oh, construction rig trailer. But they're not as wide and not as tall. And then there is one that's really huge. It's bigger than the maintenance, construction maintenance trailer that we're going to have to move. Like I said, none of them are really all that difficult. As long as you pick the right truck. And the P12 is a really good truck to do it with. But I am going to try the P16 because I didn't use it in my other playthrough. That's one of those trucks that. I used it a couple of times and then sold it so I would have the money for uh, to buy other trucks. We also have a mission back there. I think that one is a fuel delivery. timed event there. Starting to wonder if maybe I should have went ahead and refueled. But I think I'll be okay because coming back I won't have a load on. And this roadblock isn't that far up here. But I have to keep it on the road. Alright, go ahead over here and turn around. 
These rocks stay here and they will damage you if you're not careful. And these stupid roadblocks. Every time you go to a different map or you get out of the game and you come back, those roadblocks will be back there. Which is something I think they need to take out. Once you clear this mission, those roadblocks should disappear. I don't think they need to stay there. Sometimes they will really do some damage to you. Alright, so we'll haul back. Get some fuel. Get an upgrade. Pick up another metal. And then come down and fully open up this road. And surprisingly, <clears throat> excuse me, surprisingly when we get this road open and I find a flatbed trailer, a semi-trailer, the Ford cab over, the big one, even though it's not all-wheel drive, can actually make it to all these places relatively easily. So you can use that to haul loads. And I found I used it quite a lot. Because you really can't use it in Michigan. So 20 gallons, I should be able to make it with no problem. Once I get this road open, then uh, I'll be able to open up the rest of the watchtowers fairly easily. Oh crap, I went the wrong way again. I do that quite often. I miss that turn. So we have already been up here. This is where we started the video. Yeah, for some reason this turn eludes me a lot and I find myself turning around. Right now I don't have the fuel for that. So I have uh, heard some people complaining quite a bit on YouTube about uh, there's not much snow in SnowRunner. Why'd they call it SnowRunner? Well, there is snow in SnowRunner, and what did you expect them to call it? MudRunner 2? Uh, that would be kind of ridiculous because it's a totally different game from MudRunner. And I did hear that while well, I watched a playthrough of the, or somebody playing on the 
one of the new maps that's coming out and it is all snow so they are adding more snowy maps some people just like to complain over everything and I'm down to 10 gallons I might be in trouble I am definitely in trouble. Yep, eight gallons. I'm not going to make it. Because I have to drive all the way up here. So, I am not going to make it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to park it and I'm going to have to bring another truck up here and put some fuel in it. So it has to be a truck that will come up this way. And let's go back to the garage and see what we have. So I could take... Uh, the Chevy just does not run well on this map. Neither does the Scout. And the only other off-wheel drive one I have right now would be the Fleet Star and you know I think I will take it yeah I'm gonna take the Fleet Star and I'm gonna leave it set up just like this uh, because it can pull a semi-trailer if I find one And I know, whoa, he's now. Get you an all wheel drive. Oh crap. I didn't put snow tires on it, or chain tires. Back to the garage we go. Got to have chain tires, or it may not make it. Come on. So 45, all chains. And leave the garage. There we go. Now we cook them with grease. Normally I would not pull a uh, semi-trailer with this truck because the frame is just too long. And going over little hills and stuff, it the frame hits the trailer and it will bring the front end off the ground. But if I do find a semi-trailer up here, it's mostly flat ground, so it should be able to pull it back with no problem. And matter of fact, I'm going to use it to pull the fuel tanker down the road a little bit and park it where we have where we pick up the metal. 
since I can't buy fuel or if I get fuel from a gas station I've got to pay for it I've got to make sure I position all these trailers where they'll do me the most good so serpentine up here got another muddy area here this and any trailers like that one that's a mission trailer so I can't use any of that fuel it doesn't belong to me and let's throw her up into high now wheels biting into the snow and mud Serpentine action, get them front wheels biting good. Back up into high gear. have to go back to low gear and a diff lock. Through here. But if you time it right, you can get through here fairly easily. So I am going to put some fuel in the Western Star, just in case this one gets stuck. The Western Star can come and save it. Oh crap! Here went half my suspension. And luckily, I know where a maintenance trailer is. Ah, oh, shoot, I did it again. I think I am going to, in this playthrough, I'm going to take me a cargo container, or some kind of cargo, and put it down here. Remind me to turn. Excuse me.
And I could put down waypoints. But I, in my mind, I know these maps better than I think I know. <clears throat> And when I get about halfway through the missions in Alaska here, then I won't be turning the wrong way anymore. Police Star hauls a little bit of butt. really no place in Michigan where you can really open it up at. Shut up. And that should be enough. Alright, let's go get our trailer. This looks bad, but it's not that bad. Now, if you go straight on down that road, it gets really bad. A lot of deep snow. So I don't like going down there. But that is where I'll find the maintenance trailer. This timed event. And it's just a bunch of flags you got to find in different areas. You can see the old car sitting up there. It's right above my right smokestack. There's another upgrade there, but it's to the left of the car up in the snow. <clears throat> and it's one of those things you really have no need to go up there. <clears throat> so if you don't see that car there, then uh, you really wouldn't think of looking up there. And the only reason I found it was because I took two days of doing nothing but scouting after I've opened up after I opened up all of the uh, watchtowers and realized I was missing a lot of upgrades. Just oh, hey, Cap down here. Tear up my laptop. There you go. My buddies want some attention. He's 
about to cause me to wreck. So this is a trailer that I can keep. So it is mine. And see where that the back end of the truck is. Uh, they need to move that uh, low saddle a little further back. Because it makes it difficult to haul semi trailers with this truck. But we'll give it a go and see if we can pull it out of here. And I think I'm going to leave it right here. Oh yeah, this trailer is not a full trailer. So it's the only fuel tanker that I have found so far that is not completely full. So I will at some point have to pull it back to the garage to fill it up. hoping I could get this through here. I think I used a scout vehicle to get up here last time. And engageable for the Hummer. Okay. Because <clears throat> I think this was the last one that I actually found. And uh, I could not find this one. Uh, as I was saying, I searched and searched and searched and could not find the last upgrade. So I had to break down and look it up on YouTube. And there was just no reason to come out this way. Which is why I couldn't find it. But I know now. I'm not sure this truck can even haul that tanker out of here. This would be interesting. And challenging, and that's what I want in this playthrough. I want to be challenged more. All right. 
That is not a lot of space there. And it may be a good thing that this isn't full. Because this truck might not be able to pull it if it was full. A big rock. To go around the big rock. Yeah, you can see right there, the front end comes off the ground because the back of the truck touches the bottom of the trailer. But it doesn't have to pull it very far up over that hill. And that's where I'll park it. At least I get the road opened up. Once the road is opened up, then I can take it back to the garage, get it filled up, and then bring it back out here. Yep, I definitely need to move that uh, low saddle a little further back on the frame. Yeah, see it's catching it. Raising my front end off the ground. Alright, and I think I will park you right here. And let's get this one filled back up in gas and go get this pipeline fixed. pipeline is fixed then I can go finish getting the watchtowers The Artful Salad Dodger says steering's overrated anyway. Yeah, in some vehicles it is.
but in this self-imposed hardcore mode, I need my steering. I need everything I can get. And I still have not. We did all of Michigan and still have not had to buy any fuel at a gas station. So I am pretty happy with that. And we've only had to auto load one load because it would not give me an option to manually load it. And get out of here. And it's gonna make me do that all over again. Because again, all loads in this hardcore mode that I imposed upon myself have to be loaded manually. And any gas that I get from a gas station, I have to charge myself $3 a gallon. And pack it. Store the crane. Up, 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 up. Don't hit that. Because any repairs I do outside of the garage or outside of a maintenance trailer that I own, it's going to cost me $10 a repair point. <laughs> yeah, I am kind of a. Uh, I'm bringing all of this hardship on myself, but uh, as I've said before, it's I'm in my other playthrough. I'm three quarters of the way through uh, finishing the Russian maps, and it just got too easy. So until the developers come out with a hardcore mode, which they're supposed to be working on. I had to invent my own hardcore mode just to see if I could do it. So some of the other things that I can't do, I cannot buy trailers. I can only use trailers I find on the maps. I can sell trailers, but I can't buy them. Uh, loads have to be loaded manually. I cannot advance time, so I have to play through the night. Uh, what else was there? Uh, I have to complete each region before I move on to the next region. I can buy vehicles, but I can't sell vehicles unless I have a double. So like on the uh, dam map in Michigan, I did find a second Chevy pickup. So I had to immediately sell that because I can only have one of each vehicle. And like the Western Star here, I love the Western Star in my other playthrough that I'm doing. At one point I had four Western Stars doing deliveries. And now I can only own one Western Star. So right now I have not broken any of my rules yet, and I want to keep it that way. But I had forgotten how few, uh, what a, that the trailer situation in Alaska here is not as good as in Michigan. So I don't. In my other plate there, I really never paid attention to where trailers were because I just buy a trailer at a trailer store. And now I can't do that. So that's going to cause me a little bit of hardship here.
Oh, and the biggest hardship. No recovery to the garage. Cannot recover to the garage. Everything has to be driven back to the garage. If I run out of gas, I have to take another vehicle out to fill it up. If I roll something over, I have to manually roll it back with another vehicle. If I find a vehicle like we found the BM-17 in the last episode, the engine's broke, it has to be towed back to the garage. Or I have to get a maintenance trailer out to fix it. And so far I've only found one maintenance trailer. But add-ons are free game. Any of the add-ons I can buy at the garage, I can buy and sell those at will. Uh oh. Um. Okay. I did not fix this. That's what this metal was for. That's strange. Well, I guess I'll use this metal for the bridge. Oh, no, 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 never mind. Sorry. That was the service spare parts to fix that. This is the metal for the bridge. I got my missions confused. As I've said before, today was a very, very long day at work. A lot of people complaining. A lot of people throwing a fit. Uh, let me look here. Yeah, I agree. The Western Star is my absolute favorite truck. If I had to pick one vehicle to do deliveries in it would be the western star even on the russian maps uh, i'm still using the western star now i have the russian vehicles and i uh, still use those but there's just something about the western star that i just really like and it can do just about anything And on this map, in my other playthrough, a lot of my scouting and opening up watchtowers was done with the Western Star. Because the scout vehicles are just junk on this map. Now... Honestly, I think the Tega is a little bit better than the Western Star. But I just haven't spent as much time with the Tega. I mean, Western Star, I like to get that as soon as possible. And I just use the crap out of it. money and now I can oh, wait a minute, I know where another trailer is oh yes I do I know where I do know where another trailer is and I have a vehicle down there at the port that can go and get it stop that and look at my map because yeah there is another trailer here 
and it is a flatbed right there. So I will be going to retrieve that. Oh yeah, and that comes through here. And this is such a god-awful muddy mess here that I'm going to need something special for that. And I have just the vehicle for it. So I found another playthrough. I was using this as a scout vehicle too. It's pretty much nothing stops it. But I am going to try to drive the P-16 more and see how it does. why God gave me two middle fingers? Yep. Uh, I actually worked for the government doing a job that people hate me for and that uh, it's a very important job but people just don't want to conform with the rules and you know it's just something I got to put up with but for my agency I am an instructor so I have to teach new people how to do their job and one of the things I always ask them is what they've heard about the agency before we begin training and it's usually all negative stuff and then after they complete training then they understand why we do what we do so I like seeing that uh, that eye-opening effect oh I'm not an all-wheel drive I was wondering I never had a problem with taking this through here before helps if you go to all-wheel drive here on some solid ground. Yep. That was too solid. So when I find the big cat, which is the big caterpillar tractor uh, that's this is one of the areas I'm going to put that to help the other trucks through that area this truck doesn't need any help but uh, this truck can I like pulling the blue flatbed trailers so this truck can't pull those and the other trucks need help getting through there so it's a good mission for that it's too slow for anything else. And this is a very fun road. We've got a mission to bring a big spooling trailer through here. That will give you a butt pucker. Trying to bring that trailer through here. Because now it's not bad. Right up here, it gets much worse. Because that thing does want to tip through here. But I got lucky and I didn't tip it. We'll see if this playthrough, if I have the same luck.
because the worst part of the road is right up here. And this is my vehicle of choice to bring that big trailer through here. But I may try the P-16 this time. Who knows? Depends on what kind of mood I'm in when I do it. Because if I screw it up, I can always reset the mission. That's the monster we're going to have to bring through. Whoa, 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 whoa. Almost ran through. That's a repair area there. So if I run through there, I do have damage, and it's going to cost me money. $10 a point. But yeah, we're going to have to pull that trailer back out that road. See if I can. Well, let me go down here and turn around. It'd be easier. That way I won't run through that repair area. up here get you out here where I can grab you so this will give me two trailers uh, the other trailer at the garage I hate pulling those it's one of the four axle trailers and that trailer just does not handle well in the snow or mud Whereas this one does pretty good. Alright, so let's get this out of here where I can use it. And that'll help out tremendously. Until I get one of the uh, blue trailers. I can find one. I think there are two in Alaska but I'm not really sure I don't remember but I'm going to do all this in the next episode because I am tired and I have got to go to bed so appreciate you watching and for you YouTube viewers if you like the video leave a like also leave some comments let me know how I'm doing let me know if there's anything I need to change, what you think about the rules, and uh, if you didn't like it, leave me some comments, let me know why you didn't like it. And I will see you in the next video, so until then, have a good one.